So the other main line in Yanish Gambit is the line which uh, is played often by Rajabov. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop B5, F5, Knight C3, F4, Knight E4, D5, Knight E5, D4. This is an old good theory and nothing dramatically changed for many years here. So this is the main line. After knight c6, here black has uh, two moves. Uh, the main move is queen g5, and the other possibility for black is to play queen d5. Um, nowadays it's considered not so good anymore. Uh, queen d5 because of the move c4, and after queen d6, knight a7, bishop d7, queen h5, g6, bishop d7, queen d7, queen e5, king f7, knight b5. Queen h8 is also good, but uh, knight b5 is good enough, because after c6 there is tricky move queen d4, white has two pawns up, which is enough to win. Um, so queen d4, queen d5 is not so good anymore. Uh, normally, black goes for queen g5. On that we play queen e2. This is also forced. Knight f6. And now the main lines are with f4 and d4 and so on. Actually, here I wouldn't bother you with uh, all this um, theory. You can find it yourself on official, but the sources. But I, I like what Swindler played here simply to take another pawn by playing knight a7, check, open check. For example, if he goes king d8, this was Lindbergh Christensen game. Then we take on c8, and after queen g2, queen f1, queen f3, knight b6, cb6, and rook g1. White has Two bishops has extra material, one pawn up, and also the king on d8 is completely open. Uh, white is better instead uh, on uh, that's only alternative for him to to avoid the end game. If not, then after knight a7 he has to go bishop d7, and here is quite forced. After bishop d7, we take on d7. Knight takes d7, and now f4. After f4, if he goes queen a5, then knight b5, and I don't think there is enough compensation for black. For example, after bishop c5, queen c4, uh, it's against, directed against short castle forcing him to play long castle, then rook b1, c6, and b4. This is pretty nice move. Otherwise, uh, what else can be here? Uh, on uh, 11 uh, f4 he can... On queen f4 we have already, we know already this typical d4 here important tempo, already the bishop is developed with tempo, and this is okay. On uh, f4, if he goes queen f5, then knight b5, long castle, short castle. It's okay still, I mean, he has some checks, but not enough. For example, queen c5, king h1, queen c2, he's taking ben back one of, two of the two pawns, sacrificed. But uh, knight d4 force is forcing him to go to the end game, which is pawn up end game for white after b3. Small compensation, but not enough for black. So on f4, the main line is queen c5, and here we get to the point. Um, of our line, it's knight b5 that happened in Siddler's game against Degref and also Nisipiano Agamaliev was 
Akamaliev is black uh, played after knight b5, queen c2, d4. Uh, he gave here check on b4, which I think it's helping white to get advantage because after king f2, queen e2, king e2, uh, short castle, knight c7, rook a5, trying to win this knight, but uh, we can protect it by the c file by playing bishop e3. That was Nisipiano Gamaliev. After bishop d6, knight e6, it was better uh, for uh, for white. On d4, the graf took immediately on e2. King e2 and bishop d6. I don't know actually why white doesn't go for this line because it's first of all it's end game it's pawn up and the only threat only idea for black to play in this position is to change the bishop for the knight and to have some knight strong on d5 against the bad bishop on black square bishop white black square bishop but uh, this we should uh, we, ca we can easily at this avoid and then we are simply with pawn up with uh, clear advantage for white. Let's uh, see, for example, bishop d6. The key moment is to not to allow him to set uh, this knight to d5, to take control over this very, very important square. So the move is d5. For example, if knight, if he puts the knight on c5, then bishop e3. Of course, we would be very happy to give our bishop for this knight, or even to exchange this bishop. Then, uh, only only thing we should be afraid of exchanging uh, the knight for the bishop. Okay, with the pawn on d5, even that already is possible. Uh, after bishop e3, knight d3, g3, short castle, knight c3. Now this pawn on e4 is is under attack. Rook f8, rook b1. Okay, we can see that uh, h5, h a3, little by little white is uh, developing, they want to play rook a2 before and uh, later to attack this uh, uh, knight on d3. It's uh, one way ticket. If he puts his knight on f6, which is mo more sound, in order to attack this pawn on d5, then we play rook d1, h5, and Fiddler played here h4. I'm not sure about this move, maybe we can allow him to play h4, but uh, let's listen to Peter. He played h4, for some reason he didn't like that, he puts h4, black himself, to give space to black. Bishop e3, knight g4, a3. You see there's this kind of prophylactics that after Knight c3, uh, black will not have the possibility to play bishop before. Another idea is to free the rook from defending the pawn on a2 and to play rook c1. Um, knight h6, knight takes d6, in this case, cd6, and now rook d4. Now black has this weakness as pawn on e4, pawn on b7. Uh, Okay, he has some squares on f5 and g4, but this is not enough to uh, to compensate these weaknesses and also that white has a pawn up. Uh, advantage for white, Fiddler de Graaf 2009. So, there was, uh, it looked like very difficult task to find advantage uh, against the main line in the Yanish Gambit, but uh, for the moment, uh, after these few games, which uh, white played with knight takes a7 check, I, I would say that um, it's up to black now to prove that they have enough compensation. I don't see myself because uh, with some precise move uh, moves, uh, which we have to remember because there is still some important uh, after knight a7 that uh, we play f4 first, and on queen c5 play queen c5 we play knight b5 back, and uh, the on when he takes on c2 we play d4 and exchange the queens, and so then we get what we want. So this is, uh, with some efforts, it's possible to remember. And if you remember, then you have a pawn up and better endgame.